right, so we did a little cleaning up here. Now it's time for us to get into action. So let's go ahead and start writing PHP. All right, so I told you that we will need two arrays, and the reason is because we need to hold some static information right here, some tets, and then the values of, uh, and in this case, it's going to be the counts. All right, we're going to be holding the counts. As this one here is user counts, we're going to be holding uh, comment count, post count, and all that. All right, that's what we're going to be holding in this column right here in this side. This one we're going to be holding some static data. So let's go ahead and create that array. So we're just going to say elements on one, elements, element tets. All right. And this one is just going to be an array, actually. Let's use, let's use the shorthand version of, the, of making arrays like this. And let's just call this active post because we're going to have different posts. And I'll show you later on how that works. Active post. Uh, we're going to have the draft post and active post. But right now, we're just going to do what we got right now just to show you how this works then we're gonna be adding more things later all right and I think we got comments too all right so we got four of this information we got four widgets on top post comments user and categories perfect so we're gonna make one array of that all right and then let's make another array. And this array is going to be holding some other information. This is going to be holding element count. All right. That's, this is the array. And this one is just going to have, we don't need this double quotation there or single quotation post count. Let's make sure that we have the dollar sign there first. The other one is is a category count we just gotta make sure it is yes it is category count I'm just gonna copy it category count this one is user count and this one is comment count of course alright we can't make a mistake we'll make one mistake it won't work all right, just to let you know. All right, so we have the two arrays here. The next, uh, the next thing for us to do is create a for loop. Remember, what we're doing is we're creating a loop, and we're gonna be displaying each of these values right here of whatever we got up here. All right. So if we got ten posts, we're gonna be creating this columns dynamically. All right. That's what loops are for. All right. So. All right, let's go ahead and create a for loop. And I'm just going to say it's going to be the initializer is going to be equal to zero. We're going to start the loop at zero. Then remember how you, you remember how we did this, right? And we are going to be looping one, two, three, and four, all right? So four times, just a simple loop. And we're going to be incrementing it so we can go to the next all right the next value over and over again right we're gonna keep going up and up all right until we reach four all right so then here we're gonna be echoing this value so let's just say echo and let's just do this here we're gonna be echoing this right here this array first of all is going to be right here but we need to enclose this in this right here all right and inside here we need to put quotation because this is a it's all going to be text right so we have this quotation we just put some brackets right here and i think that way is the right way <laughs> all right and we also need to create because this is an array right we need to loop through it 
so we are going to be using this initializer to go through each of this array right here so right now we get the array right here all right but we're using the loop the initializer of the loop to go through each of these values right and then we're going to be echoing each of these values in this column right here in this bracket you see that we basically what we're doing is replacing this right here right here this first part with this element text array right here the first part and you see these quotes right here this is the same quotes right here all right now this data is going to be dynamic of course all right so I think we're good here there's nothing else we need now we need to jump into the next one so we're going to concatenate we're going to put a comma here and this is this comma right here that we're going to be putting all right let me just bring this up a little bit I left this here so that way you can tell what I'm doing that's the only reason why I left that place there so we could concatenate it right here and the comma because we need that comma right there to separate these values now here we don't need any quotation because this is our integers this is gonna be counts alright this is gonna be just numbers alright but we need still need to concatenate so we're just gonna put double quotation and we're gonna do the same thing we did here alright right there and we don't need that because we have that bracket as a matter of fact this bracket right here needs to go all the way down here but right now let's just paste this there and let me just take this bracket out of there we don't need this bracket there as a matter of fact that's the way it goes right there alright this bracket is the one that's gonna go right here there we go I know it seems a little confusing right now and this comma I just put it right here alright so I know it seems a little confusing there but trust me it makes sense now of course we're not gonna have the same array again we're gonna have this array right here element count I'm gonna recap right now what we're doing alright so don't worry if you don't understand it let's just close with a semicolon I'm gonna comment that out all right first let's see if it works refresh there we go perfect right we got two posts six comments uh, well category six right here and users three and comments two all right so we should actually put comments right here right and then uses here switch it around a little bit but anyway let's go ahead and recap how this is working all right perfect all right so what we did here is this data usually is static right we 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 using static and we would have many different columns like this like this if it wasn't because we're using a loop we will have users and this is just an example right categories and comments if it wasn't because of the loop this information we will have to type it in statically like this all right I hope you get the idea what I'm saying to you all right so instead of this instead of writing this like this statically all right we are using two arrays the first array element underscore text is to print all these values in this column right here all right so we are printing all these a static because right now we are using static text right here all right so we're printing all these values every time the loop goes around so the loop goes around the first time it prints posts it goes around the second time prints user in this case it's gonna print category and then the next one is gonna be print users and so on every time it goes around four times all right so it's gonna do that for this first column It's gonna print out all this text every time it goes around then it also prints out when it goes around the value the count right of each of these values right here so we, the first time we print the post count and the post name so post and post count that's the first time around because we got the element underscore count right here that represents this array right here and we got the I from the loop 
remember this eye, what it's doing is getting inside this array on every time it goes around. So we can use the eye for two arrays in the same place. All right? We can have many arrays here and use this I to iterate to go around each of these values for this arrays. All right? So this I always doing is getting inside these values here. So it gets into the first index and, and checks it out and says, you know what? Let's echo that. So right now it's echoing two values every time it goes around. It echoes the static name, the text that we got in the first array, and then it echoes the numbers that we got in this array right here. All right, so every time it goes around, and it does it four times, and that's why you see here four times, all right? So we still got a little bit to do. We, we still got to switch things around since we have, let's see, we have comments, posts and comments. So we should do, we should switch it around a little bit, right? So we're going to say comments. And comments is the and then users and what's the last one categories all right let's just fix that up right now categories and comment count I'm just gonna write it down why not I feel lucky comment count and user count and then category count all right not bad right just wrote twice Category count. Is it category or category? Ah, uh, geez. I forgot. Category. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if it works. I probably. All right. All right. So I did make a mistake somewhere. Active post, post count, comment count, user count, and category count. All right. Let's check it out again. Yeah, made a mistake, made a little boo-boo there. Let's check it out. Let's see what we did wrong. All right, okay, we have some extra. You see that? This this is static that I got right here, and they displaying. So we, we I did it right. It's just we got some static, and I'm just going to delete it. And then refresh. Nothing static anymore, all right? So in the next video, we're gonna what we're going to do in the next lecture is we got some pending comments and we have some users that are subscribers that we want to display and we got some draft posts that we want to display right so that's some extra information that we're going to be displaying on the next lecture anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care